Today we're doing a quick review rundown on six different AI writer tools. These all have lifetime deals on AppSumo. I'll put links to all of them in the description if you're interested. So we've got a Brainwork review, Content Forge review, Ellipsis AI review, Wordblot AI review, Nicheness review, and Auto Writer Pro review. So all of these, I'm going to look at them very quickly. These were. Um, some of them did okay, some better than others. None of them were as good as what I covered earlier in the week. Word Hero is still my favorite, so if you're interested in that one, check out my earlier video. I'll put a link up there. And um, $89 lifetime deal with unlimited word count. So excellent quality and excellent value. Um, none of these tools really came close to Word Hero. The Little Diamond was probably Auto Writer Pro. So this one handles simple topics like food or maybe travel, those kind of easy things. It couldn't handle any sort of technical topic that I gave it but um, there is a free trial for this as well so maybe you can check see if it works for the kind of content that you want to write um, you might be able to save a few dollars because this one it does seem good value if it works for you and it can give you a whole article in one click which most of them can't do so this was interesting let's get started going through these one by one i'm alex from idea spot let's get started I'll just start by adding that all of this is just my opinion based on my experience using these tools. So your mileage is obviously going to vary. Let me know if there is something that I've missed or something that you've really liked about one of these tools. Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to hear your feedback. But basically what I'm going to do, I'll go through these one by one. I'm going to give it the same topic. So the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch is the watch that I personally own. It has an interesting history. It's affordable. It's probably the best mechanical dive watch under $80 and uh, some very unique features and very good features for this price point. So it is um, interesting in terms of the technical details. So it has like 200 meter uh, water resistance. It's got a unidirectional bezel on here, a screw down crown, some interesting features. And um, let's see how the AI does with these features and history in particular, because I think it challenges an AI in a way that uh, some simple topics don't really do. So this is a good test of an AI. I'm going to run this through all six of these different tools and see how it does. All right, so the first one I want to cover here is Brainwork. This one is $79 for the lifetime deal. You can do 40,000 words per month on that deal. I think they have different tiers. If you want um, access to higher word counts, uh, they get expensive, but let's test this out. They do have a free trial, so you can test it out and see if it works for your use case. In this case, um, what I was able to do, um, this is very easy to use actually. You can just uh, write these headings. So I wrote introduction to Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch, history, quality, um, best diver under 80. And then all you have to do is like highlight your um, heading and hit paragraph and it's going to come up with about 30 to 60 words based on your um, dot point there so you can fill out a um, you can fill out an article just by writing some dot points and then filling out a paragraph for each dot point so it's fairly easy to use uh, the quality is probably mid-tier like it's not the best it's not the worst i didn't mind it for this topic so it did pass a fairly di difficult test in this topic um, i think for easier topics it's going to do really well um, yeah again fact checking names and numbers that paragraph I just generated is pretty wrong. Um, the one I generated earlier was much better. So yeah, it can be a bit hit and miss, but uh, overall I don't mind it, but it's not my favorite. Next up, we've got Content Forge. All right, so Content Forge has two main sections. You've got your long form content editor where you can use the AI to help you write. You've also got all your tools. So your tools, all your typical uh, forms that give you specific pieces of content. The best one is probably this intro, blog post intro. It can be used as a general paragraph generator. You put in a, um, a heading or a uh, introductory sentence and it will give you some decent content in paragraph form. So this one, I'm gonna use this in just a second, but let's use the document generator. So basically, you describe the content, you can put them up to 200 characters, choose your audience, um, choose your tone. So I'll go with professional here, English, and then continue. Now it's going to choose the title. So it's going to generate some titles. I'm just going to go with a simple review of the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch. Hit continue. Now it's going to do our intro paragraph. So it generates three choices here. So you just choose the one you prefer. Um, all of these are okay. Um, it's generated a few more there. I think I did this earlier and now it's done three and it's done an additional three. So that is interesting. Um, yeah, let's go with the top one and continue on. Now it's ready. We get create and see what we get. So there it says uh, generate content with control K. So I'll do that control K. It's going to keep writing on from, from the headline here. So 
yeah, this isn't this isn't that useful that control K. It says tops and more. Um, is a classic designer stood test of time, and uh, is very rugged. I'm going to just type in and see what we get. All right, so I just typed in until it hit 100% there, and then I can press Control K again, and it will continue on for us. I always find these AI writers, uh, yeah, it doesn't give us that much content, and it can be kind of hit or miss. The best one to use is actually just using this one here, blog post intro tool. And all you need to do is put in some short details there. So I'll put history of the Vostok Amphibia dive watch, tone, professional, three outputs, and then it will give us three paragraphs about this topic. So this is actually uh, more valuable in terms of what the output I get is here. So as we can see, we get about uh, 80 words uh, per option, and the quality is reasonable. It's not the best, it's not the worst, it's kind of mid-range, so it's not my favorite, but I mean, for a lot of topics, it will be usable, so you can actually try this for free, see if it works for your um, use case, but for me, I don't think it's my favorite. Next one we'll look at is Auto Write Pro. So I used this for a while, and I think the best tool in here is this one called Auto Articles Pro, where you can put the uh, topic of the article, your primary and secondary key phrases, so you can give really clear instructions to the AI and generate your article. So this comes up with around six or seven hundred words uh, in the article. Now this topic I think is a little bit too technical for Auto Write Pro because even though it gave us all this content. Uh, most of the facts and figures need editing and correcting. Some of the stuff is just outright um, uh, not useful. So I don't think it's good for this level of technical uh, report or blog post, but uh, when I gave it something simple, I thought um, I really like how it gave us that length of content. So a 700 word blog post in one click, I thought that was cool. So I said burger restaurants in Brisbane, and then I put in uh, five of the more popular burger options in Brisbane, so Burger Urge, Hungry Jacks, Porto, Grilled Burger, Most Burger, put them in as keywords. I said the key phrases, we want to talk about value, flavor, taste, menu options, and health. And it actually did a pretty cool job here. So it gave us a basic um, listicle style introduction there. And then it really just tried to compare them. It said, okay, um, in terms of menu options, in terms of taste, in terms of health, it compared them all against each other. It gave them a judgment. Um, I thought this was kind of nice in terms of like, uh, what did it say, value. Hungry Jacks and Burger Urge are the clear winners. Both chains offer burgers for under $10. Hungry Jacks also offers meal deals that make it even cheaper. And Grood's the most expensive with burgers starting around $15. And most burgers in the middle between 10 and 12. So this was actually, this is true and it's useful and it's, it's pretty similar to what you'd find on a typical um, food or culture or travel blog. So I think for simple stuff, this does okay. I think for my use case, um, when I'm doing more technical stuff, when I'm writing about WordPress plugins or things like that, it's probably not going to um, handle what I need to write about. But I think for a lot of you, this might be okay. So even though the quality of the outputs isn't the most impressive, um, I think giving the uh, user all this quantity in terms of giving us a a fairly usable blog post in one click. I think that's worth mentioning as a, as a standout in terms of how AutoWrite Pro compares to the other options. Next up, let's look at nicheness. Nicheness was one of the first ones I tried when I started looking at AIs and I have never really been able to figure out how to get it to give me decent content. So there's lots and lots and lots of tools. I keep trying different ones. I just, I just can't get it to work the way I'd want it to. So I've kind of given up on it. Let me know if you've been able to get good stuff out of niches, nicheness because nicheness has unlimited word count in its deal. So it could be good value, but um, I haven't been able to get anywhere near the um, quality that I have from something like Word Hero where it also has unlimited, but was much easier to get good output. Um, compared to nicheness. So yeah, I've kind of given up on nicheness. Now I'll look at word blot. So this one is another one that offers unlimited content. However, I wasn't able to really get it to uh, create coherent, useful stuff. Um, I mean, the first time I tried it, this was way off topic using this auto create tool. They also have a section expander where you can put in your section topic and try to expand it. But uh, history of the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch hasn't stayed on topic for my result there. Features of the Vostok MVP Dive Watch, I tried that a couple of times and uh, it did create one usable paragraph, but the first time it wasn't very usable. So this one's fairly hit or miss. I can't really say I enjoyed it uh, all that much, but um, maybe for simpler stuff, it can work better, but um, I'm not really gonna put too much more work into trying word blot. Ellipsis AI, this was another one of me not really uh, getting the quality that I would want to use for such a technical topic. So I put in my description, you can put in up to 200 characters here, but um, the output, I don't think that was really usable for my case. Um, I tried again with a different 
description here. So features of the Vostok Amphibia dive watch. I put in some of the basic features and it came back with, um, yeah, it wasn't that great. I don't think this is, this is going to be suitable for what I'd want to use it for. Um, $99 with zero reviews. I think, yeah, I put a question mark around this. Hopefully they improve this one over time, but I couldn't recommend it at this point. Before I wrap this up, I just might mention Riku AI. Now, I haven't had a full trial of Riku AI, but I am kind of interested in it. It's very, very different to all these other tools. This is more for building your own AI prompts, your own AI forms. So very much different to these pre-built uh, systems that I've been reviewing. This one is going to be much more for the technically inclined, maybe for your front end developers, uh, people who are really interested in experimenting with different kinds of AI. So it gives you access to not just DTP3, but you've got um, GTPJ, which is the open source version. They've got a couple other kinds of AI engines that it can connect to. And you've got all the different versions of GTP3 as well. So from uh, DaVinci and then there's, there's several other uh, cheaper versions there, but you do have to link it to OpenAI if you want to use OpenAI, and then you have to pay for your words as you go. So it's not just uh, buy once on AppSumo and then it, you never pay again. If you want to use OpenAI on here, um, there's ongoing payments. So there's also that um, GTPJ, it gets quite technical. Um, GTPJ is the open source version. I think they let you run unlimited runs on GTPJ, but probably isn't as high quality as um, GTP3 at the moment. So let me know if you want me to look at this. I don't think this is gonna be for everyone, but it could be an interesting video. It probably deserves its own video because it's very different. Now, wrapping this up, do I recommend any of these things that I've mentioned so far? I've got to say, I don't like any of them as much as I've liked Word Hero. So Word Hero, I did a full review on that recently. I found this was the best um, quality article I was able to generate with any of these tools that have lifetime deals on AppSumo. So this is the one I recommend. I'll put that link in the description for this one. This has been on lifetime deals since I think, let me see the post here, um, July 12, 2021. So I don't know how much longer this is going to be going. Are they going to keep this running for a full year? I don't know, but um, $89, you get unlimited uh, unlimited access, um, unlimited word count as well. So very high quality, better than all the ones I mentioned today, easily. And um, yeah, I enjoyed using this one. So check that video out. I'll put this on the end screen, but I prefer this one out of anything I've mentioned today. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.